We're on our way right now to a Catholic fish fry. Fish fry. Thank goodness you corrected yourself. You sounded very stupid. Fish Fry Fridays. <laughs> Today is March 31st, which is the last Friday we can partake in a Catholic fish fry. Yeah, Jacob mentioned doing this video ages ago and we somehow left it to the last week. Typical Lucas and Jacob. <laughs> 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 Fascinating. <laughs> I've never been to a Catholic fish fry, but our family was Catholic until I was like 11 or 10 or 9, somewhere around that age. Yeah, I went to Catholic school until third grade. I, I'm familiar with the Catholic fish fry. I remember really despising these Fridays growing up because it felt like such a sacrifice not to be able to have meat. Like you just didn't like fish? Yeah, I remember not liking the fish fries, but I was eight. I viewed fish as gross back then. When you know? I was little, I remember I just hated seafood. But now the thought of like battered fish and fries, like that's honestly amazing. It's actually low key funny how they, like it's giving up something, but like we could eat the greasiest food ever. Uh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's still so yummy. Oh my God, someone is blowing weed around. That's not very holy. The devil's lettuce. Yeah. Basically, we're gonna see if the Catholics where we are know how to cook up. I know. <laughs> we're gonna judge their fish fry. We're actually going to two giant churches to pit them against each other. See who, see who does the cookout better. Just a little history lesson for those not aware. During Lent, Catholics can't eat meat on Friday. Maybe other um, religions do that, but um, I just know Catholics do that. So that's why they have fish fries so then they can still munch on food that doesn't have meat. By the way, fish is not meat. It's seafood, which is not meat. Is it a common thing for non-practicing people to go to the Catholic churches and eat their fish fries? Because you still pay, like you're donating, you know? Like, it's like you're getting this for free. I was on Reddit and someone said like, atheists are welcome. And they were talking about a Catholic fish fry. Oh. So, yeah! When I was first thinking of doing this video, I thought we would have to go inside of the church and um, communicate with other church members yeah. and we would kind of have to act like we're part of the church, but um, thankfully a lot of them have drive throughs I'm assuming it was made because of COVID, but I'm just gonna pretend it's made because everyone's a fast food obsessed person now, like, and no one wants to communicate with anyone. Yeah, they just wanna hide in their cow, get the fish, and go. Yeah, because otherwise we'd have to go in the church basement. These are always in b the basement for some reason. Yeah, and... I'm gonna be yelling at the priest if they don't make it right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the nuns and say, why didn't you make it right for Lucas and Jacob? We made it. <laughs> another oh, one. Oh, we got another one. They got it figured out. So I wanted to film the drive through interaction, but it turns out I was recording on slow-mo on my iPhone. So the audio just is bad. But if you were wondering, basically they just ask you what they want. You pull around and one of the church goers brings the to-go box out to your vehicle. It's just like any other fast food place. First one down and they make it so easy. They know, they really have this whole drive through experience to a science. We are in and out in like 30 seconds. These are free. Like they do oh, a free crazy. will operating, like we gave them money, but... We've arrived to the next church. It's very busy. So this one's a little more complicated. There aren't very many signs. Are you sure this one is a drive through Oh, you can smell the fish. This is the tuna air. It actually smells good, dude. I know, mean, just salmon all over. So, can we wait 20 minutes? I'm gonna try. I'll really try. Same with me. Let me get our Diet Cokes. These are provided by my house, not the church. Mmm. Cheers. We didn't get a clink, actually. We aren't gonna say what churches we went to because, um, just unneeded. So, the first one we went to, for this whole video, we're gonna refer to it as St. Jacob. I feel like there probably is actually a saint called that. We both have Bible names, so this works. For the second one, we're gonna refer to it as Saint Lucas. 
So at St. Jacob's, the drive through experience was very seamless. It had a Chick-fil-A energy. Whereas St. Lucas, you could say it was more jumbled, but it was because it was so packed. And it took a little bit more time, but we're going to have to see if it took more time because it was more packed and slash, did they make it more homemade? So let's dig into St. Jacob first. Oh, yeah. It came in a home goods Marshalls bag. Oh yeah, they're recycling. Love that. We got the mac and cheese. Should I, I show it? Yeah, yeah. I on the website it didn't say they had mac and cheese, so. Oh. Oh my God. Classic on um, cafeteria, oh. school cafeteria mac and cheese. This is gonna be the immaculate conception. The two one. I'm not oh. kidding. This actually looks like a fast food Long John Silver's thing. Yeah, it looks like something you'd get from um, a fast food place. I gotta say, this vehicle smells bad at this point. Is that my shoe or is that the fish stinking up the vehicle? I smell grease, but I'm excited because, you know, that's what we're expecting with this fish video. What should we get into first? <laughs> Let's both try the coleslaw. Okay, I don't see any carrots, Yeah, it but... looks very plain, of course, but let's see. I do sometimes like a colorful coleslaw, so. Okay, I'll, I'll wait to take a bite till you do. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Go. It's good, it's a different type of coleslaw. It's simple, but delicious. Mm. Coleslaw's just, I love how refreshing it is. I'm just picturing I'm a nun making it. Um, you know, she put her heart and soul into that. I brought some ketchup because I need some ketchup with my fish. Jacob's just gonna use a tartar sauce though, right? Yeah, they, they gave us tartar sauce, thankfully. Drizzle that tartar sauce. That's what she said. <laughs> this looks like a classic um, frozen fish. Mm-hmm, but maybe they made it homemade, we don't know. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't know is the thing. Cheers. Cheers. That's what I was expecting. It's so good. I wonder if I'm just making up, making it up, but it's delicious. This is when I can see myself going back next year. I'm loving this. Isn't there a story in the Bible about somebody getting stuck in a fish? In uh, a whale. So then what happens? I think they just die. It's, I think. Some... I know this isn't very church-like, but I might have to unbutton this. Oh, is it restricting you? Yeah, I feel like I can't fully live my fantasy. <gasps> These french fries, they could have very much gotten them from Raisin Cane's. Oh, this whole thing is giving Raisin Cane's energy because the coleslaw, the the box that's in. I don't know if I can trust my opinion right now because I've been looking forward to this moment for literally eight months. They are soggy because they've been sitting, like the condensation in the box has been building up for a while, but I love a soggy fry. <laughs> Same with me, these are soggy and cold, but um, I'm Mick loving it. <laughs> and there's something about crinkle cut fries that bring it to the next level for me. Originally, I didn't like crinkle cut fries, but something happened over the past few years where I decided they actually are good. Why was I hating? I don't know. Maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but no one asked. Can we continue with the mukbang? I spit because I'm so angry at Jacob. I can't believe earlier I said when I was a kid, I, I thought these places were gross. So they're just fries and fried fish. Like, I, what? This kind of seems like a kid's meal, like a kid's favorite meal. The guy that handed us, do you think he would have ever thought the number one food reviewer and his brother would be tr eat, reviewing it professionally on camera? That's true. I'm almost glad they didn't know because like then the nuns would have felt so much pressure. And the police would have been like, oh my gosh, I can prepare for a whole week for this. Mm -hmm. It would have added a lot of unnecessary stress. So I'm glad they didn't know. I might sip the juice. Do it. Mmm. Recommend. I'm not even the one saying, mmm. Lucas is the one saying, mmm. Lucas is truly an empath because he could expand, he could put himself in my shoes in that situation. Aww. The most important thing is next. Oh my God, I thought we were done. Same with me. I did too. I thought we were done with St. Jacob. When I was opening this, I was actually pitching there to be a crust on top, but um, maybe I was expecting too much from them, you know? Yeah. Cheers. That's good. It reminds me so much of cafeteria, though. Yeah, it's cafeteria mac and cheese. Like, maybe this church that we went to had a school collected, so they had leftover mac and cheese from the lunch. Mm -hmm. It is good, though. I mean, it's not bad. Definitely not bad. I think, like, macaroni is one of those things where there's not any bad ones. I would actually agree. Like even the most runny, tasteless macaroni is good. As long as it tastes a little bit like salt, 
it's winning. Mm -hmm. They're just super basic. You know, they couldn't really try anything too crazy. It does feel holy. Mm. It um, does have this one taste, though. Soap. Mm -hmm. There's just one taste that certain macaronis have that isn't good, but I'll still eat the entire thing. I know exactly what taste you're talking about, but I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I don't think there's any English words that... What is that from? Isn't that from like some cheese movie? There's no words in the English language that could explain this. It reminds me of like a teen love song or something. About people talking about love or something? Yeah. Should we keep um, switching it until it's gone? Yeah. We gotta finish it all. We donated to the church for this, so we gotta get our money for it. Excuse me for blowing my nose. We actually donated about $40 to the Catholic Church today, so hopefully the Pope is living loud. I need a good sip of Diet Coke after that. <laughs> all in all, St. Jacob's hit pretty, hit in like a medium way. It was good. On the Richter scale of Catholic food fries, it's definitely like a seven, I would say. I oh, feel yeah, like I mean, you honestly, could go to one and it would be horrible, but this is a good one. I know, one. that's true. This was this was good. It could have just been so nasty, but it wasn't. But it does remind me of a kid's mail from Long John Silver's. Mm -hmm. They had to keep everything very basic because maybe in the past they've tried to like do like jalapeno macaroni and the parish might have really gotten mad. So they got to keep everything basic to keep everyone unhappy, you know? I could fully understand how this could please a parish. Mm -hmm. We gotta say that we basically left no scraps. No crumbs. <laughs> Now we're on to St. Lucas. Ah! Oh. Comes in a high V bag. We actually got two meals from here because they also had baked fish. Yeah, they had baked fish and we, yeah, okay, we just got a bunch of stuff from here. Was it baked tilapia? Baked tilapia and fried palak. Their tartar sauce comes in these. So this is I already. Like that. Okay, they're trying something. They tried, they threw a little bit of shade. And they gave us two things of coleslaw. Wait, mm. this can't be real. Uh, this serving? Yeah. They are throwing shade at St. Jacob's. This is in like a coffee mug, I think. Or like a little to-go coffee cup and like, this is triple the size of St. Jacob. Oh, okay. They went to the other fish fries and they said, so, we're gonna outdo them. They knew that. A little boy like me, like I'm gonna give them money if it tastes good. I know, they like just killed another career. It's a mild day. What song is that again? <laughs> Some Nicky song. Okay, I gotta yes. say, Catholic Catholic coleslaw is so like mayonnaise-y. Mm. Okay, just from this, it's giving homemade energy. It's giving the nun <laughs> made it this morning. I, I, I need to stop saying it's giving. <laughs> I didn't even know it. Stop proving like that just became part of my actual. Like, I didn't even think it was weird. It does kind of taste like soap, but I um, don't The mind. only critique with this one and the last one, it needs to be more carrot. This one's thicker than the other one. They um, strained out the juice. But um, I do love how they give coleslaw because when everything gets too salty, mm. a bunch of this. Yeah, we just we should save this so we always have this to go to if we need a refresher. Definitely. So, so what do we have first? Fried palak or baked tilapia. Oh my gosh, what is it gonna be? I'm so curious. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> the baked tilapia and a baked potato. Oh, right when you open that up, it fills the car. The potato's just literally just plain. This is like a health conscious meal. Mm -hmm. Not to stereotype everyone, but I just pitch all family, and this is what the mom gets. Yeah, the almond mom. I wasn't aware of what almond mom means, but it basically just means like, someone like Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm informing you because I wasn't aware, so... Um, it's always good to teach things to people. Hey, what are you looking for? Where did I put my fork? Oh, it's in your cold pot. I'm going brain dead from these Catholic fish fries. So, like, I don't know why we're trying this, because it's going to be basic. Yeah, it's like... It's a potato. It does look seasoned well, though. I'm like not used to just a plain potato. Like I'm used to, I thought they'd be like cheese, bacon. <laughs> How do I make potatoes taste like that? That's good. Is there butter on it? Like what makes it better than just, cause like, whenever I make potatoes at home, they taste so plain. This has to be like butter, right? They put a bunch of oil and salt on it. It's better than I expected of mm -hmm. a potato. It's cute. It's very windy out, and like we can literally feel the vehicle moving. I know. I don't know if that's like the gods above telling us, like. Thanking us for eating this? Maybe. No, yeah, one little more bite. <laughs> little more. <laughs> one little more bite. <laughs> 
They gave us a lot of fish. I know, like, holy F. Like, they went to the Costco section, the fish section of Costco, and got a 30 pound bag of no, they're tilapia. Like, they're like, let's oh. give everyone, like, three fillets. Why not? I'm gonna try it without taro sauce because it looks well seasoned. Mmm, it's fishy. I like it though, do you not? It's good, but like, this compared to the fried fish is like a whole different world. Oh, because this actually tastes like fish. Whereas the fried fish is like. Just a chicken nugget. Yeah. What's the seasoning? Paprika, salt, pepper. I'm just pulling that out of my ass, but maybe. It's good. But it's like after already having the fried fish, I can't really go to this now, you know? Once you've had the most fried stuff, you can't go to this. I know, like you need to, it needs to be the other way around. I need but, to do a coleslaw mouth rinse. But I am gonna finish my filet. Does this type of fish have um, omega-3 fatty acids? Um, did I mention sloppy? It's always like salmon and tuna. I'm just gonna assume that. Maybe, I feel like it does. Paulic and tulapia have omega fatty three fatty acids. Let's see what pout two of St. Lucas. Oh my God. Wait, this actually looks homemade. They really are trying to outdo the other people. I just can't believe how hard they went. But they don't have mac and cheese. Oh, that's true. And they also told us, they said, just so you know, if you go to the drive-thru, you don't get dessert. So we're missing out on the entire dessert options, but. And juice and cop. <laughs> okay. I'm being disgusting. Mm -hmm. And juice and coffee and tea. Mm hmm Next time I'll swallow my food before I talk. <laughs> but it's like a whole different energy, this fish. You know what I mean? It, is, it really isn't giving like Costco frozen food. I kind of want it to be sure. more fake. But... Yeah, let's see. This is good. Wait. I'm actually loving it. <laughs> This actually reminds me of a fancy restaurant. But I don't really like how it's so thin. Like, I like how the first one was so fluffy. I have to try some without tartar sauce. Mm. Yeah, they, they just tried an entire different thing, you know? Do you think it's homemade? Like, if you had to guess. I actually feel like it is somehow. I mean, it's good. I just prefer the St. Jacob's one, if I'm being honest. So how does every Catholic church know to do crinkle cut flies? Is that a, like an unknown rule? You have to do crinkle mm. cut flies at the fish fry. Probably because of the rise of raising canes. That's my guess. But did I just make that up? I feel like that kind of makes sense. Let's see. Yeah, they're literally identical to the other ones, right? Cold and soggy. I feel like I might need to dip the fish in ketchup to get my full opinion. Do what you have to do. Don't let anyone hold you back. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, let's try the fish with the ketchup. Mmm, that brings out the goodness. I'm not much of a fish ketchup person, but I am gonna try it. Mmm. This is the funniest thing. Before, with the previous church, I was saying they really made everything so basic. And I was kind of like making fun of it. But now that these people tried something a little bit off the beaten path. St. Louis. Louis St. Lucas. I'm starting to not like it. Wow. That says a lot about society. I'm aware that this fish is probably more real than St. Jacob. But I do have to say, I don't know if this has happened to you, and let me know if it has, but does it taste a little bit fishy to you? Like, um, and I know we're eating fish, but it tastes a little bit, um, like, ghost fishy to me. Mm-hmm. I preferred how the first box didn't taste like fish. was just so processed that it could have been a chicken nugget, you know? I gotta say, I've, I've had enough of this stuff. Like, I'm... I'm good. We have a whole taro sauce from St. Lucas that we didn't even get to yet. Oh, hell yes! Keep that in your fridge. I'm holding St. Lucas right now. I'm holding St. Jacob's, the first one. Um, how should we do this where none of us are influenced? How about both of us go in our we notes? close our eyes? Or should we both write a little paragraph in our notes mm. about which one we like butter okay. and why? Okay, I'm done. Okay, my speech is written. Can I say mine first? So I just wrote initially what one? St. Jacob. The basicness at first was boring me, but after having St. Lucas, it delighted me. Sorry, St. Luke, I'll still worship you. Okay. I preferred St. Jacob's, so yeah. The drive through was modern and seamless, and the food was basic, which fit my basic palate. 
I do have to say St. Lucas had a more lively vibe in the drive-thru, but the food didn't hit me hard enough. But I'm still thankful they made it. We both were being so kind. Well? Both of us thought the same thing. Like, at, at first having St. Jacob, we were like, okay, why are you just solving us fast food? But then after having something a little bit more nuanced, we were thrown off and we both like basicness fast food. I know, does this apply to other areas of your life? Like, what if someone's like, my wife is so basic, so they get some weird tattoo girl and then they find out oh i actually wanted a basic wife. weird tattoo girl <laughs> but then they find out oh i actually must like my basic wife it out connects yes yeah, so you just yeah that's just life what even is the lesson like there you... isn't yeah it's just you never really know what you want until you try everything i guess yeah 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 the big question was would we go back again um, I actually don't know if I would go back mm. to either of these again just because um, they, none of them were astonishing to me. Yeah, I'm glad I did it. I probably will go to a fish fry again, but I don't have any plans on it. A and classic least, fish fry. I, I feel like maybe I'll go to yeah, one at I some point just for too. the vibe. I don't know, it's hard to decide right now because I'm in the post food mode where I kind of feel gross. To be honest, I feel a little bit gross right now. <laughs> Same with me. Just greasified, but... But then you know what I mean? You know when you always feel gross after you eat food, but then you forget the next day and you go and eat the same thing. This video is sponsored by the Catholic Church. It is, secretly, yeah. Thank you for the food. What does it go? Father, Son, Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit.